everyone. It's my pleasure to talk to you today about co spontaneous coronary dissection. Coronary dissection used to be a diagnosis that was very rare, but now with better imaging studies and, and more awareness, we are hearing a lot more about coronary artery dissection. Coronary artery dissection has been linked in the past with pregnancy either delivery or after delivery. It's also been linked with hormone treatments. In men, it's been linked to extreme exercise. Most recently, we found that it's been linked with fibromuscular dysplasia. And the treatment for coronary artery dissection has been conservative therapy and impulse control, which is controlling your blood pressure and heart rate and letting your artery heal. If you have been diagnosed with coronary artery dissection, it's really important to try to figure out the underlying cause of the dissection. So for example, if you have had coronary artery dissection, it's important to figure out whether you've had fibromuscular dysplasia or you have other type of vasculopathies that can increase your risk for having further coronary artery dissection events. The treatment for coronary artery dissection acutely is uh, to do conservative therapy, which is which means that we would not do a stent or a bypass unless there was something catastrophic and we needed to urgently revascularize you because most of the time coronary artery dissections heal by themselves and the body is able to heal that dissection uh, beautifully without us intervening. To prevent further episodes of coronary artery dissection, it's important to be on heart rate control and blood pressure control. And we would recommend being on beta blocker therapy if you can tolerate that. Beta blockers sometimes have been used um, uh, by actors and singers to lower their blood pressure and heart rate for stage fright, but it's most widely known as uh, antihypertension medicine uh, to, because it lowers blood pressure and heart rate. And it's worked beautifully in patients with coronary dissection. So if you have coronary dissection or if you have a history of coronary dissection, uh, ask your doctor whether you should be tested for other findings that go with the dissection.